Today we are fabricating an intake for the world's first 100 horsepower mini jet boat. And then we're gonna put it to the test with an 18 volt power drill. Full power ahead. We're also giving away one of our favorite tools ever, the Ameribraid belt grinder. And there's only a few days left to enter, so check out the link below. So this was made to um, reduce vibrations, but we don't care about vibrations. We care about going fast. I cut the rubber bit and got the outside off. Now I'm gonna throw it in the lathe and clean the rest of the rubber off. And I think I'll be able to just weld this directly to the aluminum hull and then it'll be much better. Then we can get rid of all that length in the middle there. And I'll just have to make a new bearing surface for this. And uh, we'll have ourselves a drive shaft. Something like that. I decided to bust out the dial indicator for this one to get it nice and straight because it really matters. And um, I think I achieved nice and straight. Sandings later, we've got a 3,000 grit mirror polished shaft. The bearing fits onto it nice and snug. Look at that. New drive shaft. If you were to spin that up at high speed, I think it'd be pretty straight. It's just when you spin it with your fingers, you wobble it right at the beginning. I've got the engine sitting pretty much where I like it, spaced up with scraps of aluminum. They're gonna go right about there just so they sit directly under the engine mounts. It's just, you know, the easiest, simplest solution. I wanna be able to put a nut on the bottom for backup or in case I need to, so before I weld this in, I'm gonna take the drill and I'm just gonna drill a bigger hole here and in between here so you could stick a finger in underneath and get a bolt. Moving right along. going on the next thing for the builds, um, I'm going to build a table for the arc droid. As you can see, it has completely swindled our uh, fab table here, uh, which is because this is only a quarter inch thick. And most importantly, I just need more space on the table and I want this thing to be protected. So we're going on a scrapyard adventure to find some stuff to make an arc droid table out of. We're going to need some stuff for legs. We want it to be sturdy, but not obscenely heavy.
a look at that. I mean, it's not quite done, but found a spot that it kind of fits for now. We'll have to move it every time we need to use the brake. Plenty of space on here for maybe even a, a small scrap bucket for throwing a little scraps and failed cuts into on the table here. Yeah, just needs some slats. I got both of these rails all welded in and rather than make the actual engine mounts right now, I realized what would be smarter is to uh, make at least part of the box that goes around here to keep the water going out the back so then I can just put the engine up to it and it won't I won't have to worry about wiggling it around as I you know mount the engine. I think what I'm gonna start by doing is making a plate, just a round plate that's the diam just a little bit bigger than the diameter of this. And then inside diameter of this, basically just a giant aluminum washer that'll weld onto here and then all the other pieces will weld to it as they, you know, come into that. Yeah, I think that'll work. I can make a piece of aluminum that'll go over here and, and come to that. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna make a conical radius out of that. <laughs> Might be interesting. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm just drilling holes through the uh, layer underneath. And then uh, I've got the tap drill to uh, tap that part so we can have a few extra threads. That's not a whole lot of threads for being steel into aluminum, or in this case, stainless steel, I guess. So that's why I built these holes here, so that if we needed to, we could put a nut on the bottom if, in case those threads do ever strip out. But I'm gonna, you know, get this bolt down a little bit snug so it helps hold it in place. Just one on each, and then I'll weld them the rest of the way around. And there we have it, motor mounts welded in. And now I can start making the part that comes up here under the intake, or under the engine for the water intake. Anyway, obviously it'll have to like kind of angle up from somewhere under here up to this, uh, the bottom half of this. It's, it's kind of a weird complicated shape. I'm not really exactly sure how I'm gonna accomplish it, but I'm gonna start figuring it out with some cardboard aided design. Ranger gas tank is gonna be parts of the jet boat. It may look like uh, scribbles and chaos, but uh, I know what it is. So that's all that matters. I know what all the lines mean.
this line is where the engine plate actually is. So I'm actually gonna bend it up a little bit at that line and then bend this one back a little bit just to get a little bit more gradual of a slope, which I think is better. Now comes the fun part of cutting this out of aluminum and then trying to bend it to a nice smooth radius like that without a sheet metal roller, because I don't have one. It's quite tight enough, but that's an almost perfect radius. Can't even really tell that it was bent on 17 different steps on the metal brake. It worked really nicely. Experiment success! Wow. For a complete random guesstimation, <laughs> that turned out stupidly well. In some places it needs a little pressure to get nice and snug, so I just, uh, Grab whatever thing is on hand that seems to be about the right length, and then just wedge it in there. This one. So, um, it pulled the uh, impeller shaft out so I could weld this here. Got it done. Should be plenty strong and plenty uh, waterproof, I think. Now uh, flip it over and weld the inside of everything. I can't really do much more on this because it's all aluminum. Um, but we can go test if it's waterproof and if it floats in the pond and uh, paddle around and, and imagine, make, make vroom vroom noises with our mouths and pretend that it goes fast. We hook up a drill to it? Yeah, it, but it's, it's not worth it. Like, there's no easy way to hook up a drill to it, but that would be hilarious. Just This is a replaceable part, so if I messed it up, we could just get a new one. I could just drill a hole in that and put a bolt through it. But it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. Good idea. <laughs> yeah! Now we have a 18 volt drive system. <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious. I think we should start our own version of CrossFit. Oh. <laughs> If it starts hailing soccer balls, you're very well protected at the moment. We need to get a bunch of these and start a new port. Boat overlanding where you have a jet boat? Where you have to portage between rivers yeah. by carrying it. Yeah. 
time to see if A, it holds water, and B, it holds me. Oh. This thing is gonna be so scary. This is so relaxing, just the sounds of the water burbling over the rocks. So we know it floats with uh, me in it, but like I'm gonna be in it and the engine's gonna be in it when it's done. So uh, we're gonna see if it floats with me and an Edwin amount of weight. Full oh, power ahead. Snow bike parkour going on. It's so scary to commit. <laughs> commit. Ah. Oh! Nice! Oh, no. <laughs> oh. That worked well. Dude, oh. nice. If only I could hold it. This is the first day it's been even close to warm enough for me to be wearing oh. just a life vest. <laughs> Any other day and I'd be out here shivering. Yep. But it's nice out here. Looks like a fashion statement. It is. <laughs> at that shiny new belt. <laughs> the day we all thought would never come. I put a new belt on it, uh, by accident, really, because I went to get a new belt for my uh, skid steer and got the wrong one, and I was like, oh, that looks like it fit the lathe. So I put it on there. I was really planning on keeping the old one for forever, and if you'll notice, it has a very high place on our wall right next to the gold play button because this belt is the uh, world's greatest lathe belt. It lasted for probably, I would be willing to bet a large sum of money if I was the type of person who would bet large sums of money, that this belt is probably at least as old as I, it's probably like twice my age, I would bet. This belt's probably like 50, 60 years old. Well, it'd have to be 62 to be twice my age, whatever. It's old! This one's new. No more, no more wiggly jiggly.